Okay, so we're looking at what they're calling the addition rule right here, which is saying that if you look at the probability of, let's say, A or B, that equals the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the intersection of A and B. And maybe an easy way, somewhat easy way to think about this is that you can think of a Venn diagram. Let's say this is A and this is B. If I want to know what's the probability of A or B, well, first I take the probability of A, add that up. That's something. But then I want to add the probability of B. But the problem is when I do that, I double count this middle piece, which is the intersection. So I have to subtract that middle section out one time to only count, which essentially amounts to this shape, A or B or the middle part there. We don't want to double count that middle. So this is the union of um, <clears throat> two events. And we can use that. Let's, let's use it in this problem. When a car is bought to a repair shop for service, the probability that it will need the transmission fluid replaced is 0.38. So that's got to be T. I'm going to write that down right here. That is 0.38. That's not a very neat 8. Let's fix that. 0.38. Then the probability that it will need the brake pads replaced is 0.28. That's the next one right here. Brake pad replaces 0 0.28. So that's our next probability. Oops. Right here, it's 0.28. What is the probability? Oh, and the probability that we need both the transmission fluid and the brake pad replaced is our next probability, 0.16, both. So they're giving it to us right here. So that's 0.16. And they want to know, let's see, they're saying, oh, they're, then they're defining that what T is for transmission as B is for brakes, which I think we could infer. Use the addition rule to find a probability that a randomly selected car needs the transmission fluid or the brake pads are placed. So probability of T or B, and that's going to be the probability of T plus the probability of B minus their intersection T and B. So we're just going to use the numbers they gave us, 0.38 plus 0.28, oops, 28 minus 0.16. 38 plus 28, 3 plus 2 is 5, so it's 50, plus 8 plus 8 is 16, so it's 0.66 minus 0.16. Ooh, is exactly uh, 0.5, so half. All right, hope that helped.